Next thing, cheap ass knickers to get blood all over. Mmm, delicious. So I decided to go for two packets of full briefs and one packet of bikini briefs because I hate full briefs with a passion. So for comfort purposes, you know, I may end up going crazy if I only have full briefs to choose from. So bikini briefs are in there just in case. Some people have told me that if they have a C-section, bikini briefs are pretty much impossible. So full briefs. Two packets of full briefs because that's what I've been told is the best thing to get. And one pair of bikini briefs briefs for my own sanity. I should have got them all in black really. I don't know what possessed me to get a packet of white ones. Next we've got nappies because you know you need nappies and they told us to bring around 20 nappies so I've brought 23. Slippers to walk around the hospital in. I've had this pair for ages so if I lose them or they get dirty I'm not too bothered. Yay for comfy slippers! Woohoo! Two packets of gigantic sanitary towels. Two different brands because my vagina is very fussy and I didn't want to use the ones that the hospital provide. They also tell you to bring your own anyway, but two lots of those. Need I say more? Next thing is my wash bag. So this has kind of got like all of my necessities in it. First thing, loofah. Is it even called a loofah? I'm not quite sure. I've always called these loofahs. Probably the wrong word for it, but yeah. That thing that helps you lather up bubbles and wash yourself in the shower. Deodorant and a roll-on. Just the Nivea antiperspirant double effect. Woohoo, 48 hours. I'm gonna need this bad boy. I love the smell of this. It kind of reminds me of Palmer Violets. And we have Charlie. Enchant. Mini shampoo and conditioner. Love this stuff. Every time I smell it, it reminds me of when I would go to America and I would take two bottles of these when I had red hair years and years and years ago. I love the smell of these so much. And when I saw mini ones of them in Superdrug, I thought, yeah, I'm going to take those to the hospital with me. Look how tiny they are. They're so, so, so small. Breast pads. Face pads, FemFresh Intimate Hygiene, 25 Feminine Freshness Wipes, pH Balanced Hypoallergenic. Need I say more? I'm about to have a baby, guys. Not sponsored by FemFresh. Some cheap face wipes from Primark. Thought I'd throw those in there. Razor, you know, fresh new razor. I'll need a razor because I'm Greek and Greeks need razors every day. So these are things that I've depotted technically into like you know travel jars because I don't want to take the full thing with me. As you can see I don't really care about my handwriting on these. They're just really roughly done. This is my Soap and Glory face wash. Clean and clear cleansing lotion. This is my Garnier day care moisturizer or something like that. Mouthwash, shaving gel, toothbrush I don't really care about. This is just something that I can throw away after I've been to the hospital. Don't necessarily care too much about it. Didn't want to take my expensive toothbrush with me. Bobby pins, two hair ties, a mini shower gel. Better than taking a huge one. Nipple cream. Yeah, this is my life now guys. Nipple cream. Apparently it's a good idea to bring this with you to the hospital. It's better safe than sorry kind of thing and apparently your boobs really 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 hurt when you try to breastfeed for the first time and this is supposed to be some pretty damn awesome stuff so I picked some up from mother care. So I'm taking that with me just in case I need it. Mini toothpaste. Sensodyne for my sensitive teeth. Body Shop's Aloe Lip Care Lip Balm. This is so soothing and relaxing. Really, really, really moisturizing. So I figured that this would be really good to bring with me because people recommend bringing lip balm. So I thought I'll bring the most hydrating lip balm I have. Camcorder charger. Have no idea where the hell I'm gonna plug this in. So hopefully my camcorder will just last. What's inside this bag? Ta -da! So rather than talk you through this section, because I would be here all day, there's not actually that many things in there really. But if you wanted to know what is in here, I'd rather do a blog post on it than include it in this video, because this video is already going to be long enough. I will tell you guys what is in this pouch though. This is pretty much just makeup, two brushes, two, three brushes or whatever. Basics, like, you know, makeup here to wear casually and then makeup maybe for some photographs afterwards. There's not much makeup in here. Looks like there's a lot, but there really isn't. Makeup, and I will show you guys what's in here. iPhone and iPod. USB charger if I can steal a plug somewhere. Retro iPod which is full to the brim of music and some random ass games as well. So if my iPhone dies which has music on it as well then I have this. It looks like there's dust on it but that's actually just fluff from the bed. Paper and pen in case like my phone dies and the iPod dies and I kind of want to write something down that's in my mind or for whatever other reason. My earphones which are currently tangled. This only came in the post yesterday but it is really really cool and this is to try and combat the whole you're not allowed to charge anything in the hospital problem. So this is what's in here. It's an iPhone charger with two USBs. The whole reason I'm bringing this is based on the fact that I can't use any of the plugs at the hospital apparently. Apparently. We'll see what happens because I've used plugs at a hospital before so I have a funny feeling I'll be able to find one somewhere temporarily if worse comes to worse. 
if we press that you can see that it's fully charged i also have this little usb connector thingy majiggy bob to charge the brick i also have this hair clip because i always end up needing this for whatever reason so i figured that it's better safe than sorry now for the second bag which i'm not really technically supposed to bring but because of how small my first bag is i'm gonna bring this and i don't really see how they would have any trouble with it i will show you guys what's in it and you'll see why dressing gown towel which is very important tangle teaser don't know what i'd do without you covered in blue hair as well i'm also bringing fix plus with me because i love to spray myself with this whenever i need calming down or you know i prefer this to like water basically and if i'm wearing makeup on my face too which i probably will be doing then it's probably a good idea to have something to spray on my face that won't spray it off. Also, there's a bag within the bag, which is basically this snack bag. Maltesers, Haribo, because, you know, sweets, sugar, might be needed. Two packets of pickled onion crisps. Biscuits. I love shortbread because if I need energy and I want something that's sweet, but not really, really sweet and something that's not too heavy, shortbread is just amazing. And coffee, because me and Nyla are probably going to need coffee at some point. And hospital coffee can be pretty gross, so I'm bringing some Nescafe. So that's what's in my hospital bag. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was kind of helpful to anybody else, maybe. I don't know. I just know a lot of you wanted to see this. And even though I'm absolutely knackered now, because I've been filming from all kinds of dodgy angles, <laughs> I'm glad that I did this because I've been wanting to film this video and I figured that if I didn't film it, I would regret it. That's my hospital bag. I'll speak to you guys soon. Take care. Bye! Oh, climb across the desk, your video